All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the music, guys, and get you the background noise. As it sounds like we're getting ready to go, the teams are ready. We're just waiting for the casters to make sure they all say they are ready to go. And of course, we are all ready to go. We will update the titles as it is important that they are connect, correct? We are gonna have Reunited versus Nine Ninjas. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you so much for stopping by. We are gonna be watching the round of 256 in the ESL Go For Cup. Number four, guys, this is the first match of the day. We are going to be watching, oh, Reunited versus Nine Ninjas. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for your viewership. This game should be pretty interesting. Reunited, of course, going to be playing for the first time in the Go4 Cup. For really, they haven't played too much. Um, if not at all, I will double check the standings on that. But I do not believe they have played at all yet. Um, so they are going to be looking to just win it out today and get a high placing so that they have. Uh, a seat in the final tournament. They are not going to settle for anything less, and yeah, they're not even in the top 16. And if they had played before, they'd be there. So they're definitely looking to just win out here today, guys, and get that top um, uh, top eight spot so that they can play in the um, final. That will be most likely next weekend, I believe. But without further ado, guys, we'll get into the game. Thank you so much again. This is the ESL Go For Cup number four. And thank you again so much to yourself for letting me cast this. Let me go ahead and move this up, guys, so it isn't as much in the way. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and put it down here um, so it's slightly more out of the way. But again, guys, thank you so much. We'll get the introductions out of the way now. We have two easy going to be picking up a Roadhog on the defense. Volataj are going to be on a Soldier unfixed on his Farah. We have Winghaven over here on a Winston Mer Morte going to be picking up the Mercy. We have Cruz on the Torbjorn. Aardvark for him. Gonna be over here on the offense is Nine Ninjas. We have Kenshin picking up a Mercy. Blade Knight gonna be over here on a Soldier. Mute Lee gonna be on a Zarya. We have Ravening gonna be on a Farah. Sumahit gonna be on their uh, Reinhardt. And of course that leaves the last and only second support player gonna be picking up a Lucio. And we're gonna go ahead and start over here on 2-Easy. He's on that Roadhog and look for those hooks. That's a good one. He's gonna help take out Blade. Actually, no, he does not take out Spittery quite yet. There he does go down two kills so far. He'll make it three. Volatage with two. Too easy with one as the defense is going to be able to push them back and do quite a bit of damage here. The push push getting completely stalled up. And that was just... That was absolutely disgusting as, of course, the first hook landed from too easy. That's exactly what you want when you run a Roadhog on defense. It is critical that you land those hooks because if you don't, then you really haven't... You could have picked a, a, a junk ride, another hero for spam. Of course, uh, his spam, uh, the spam from Roadhog is more lateral. You can't really lob it over uh, ledges and such. But, of course, that hook is the big benefit to him. Winghaven going to be jumping in on that. Winston going to be dropping that barrier. Soon, he's going to be actually able to take out Morte. However, Unfix takes him out. And then Volatage is going to be answering again. Cruz as well. Going to be picking up a third kill. The fourth going to Unfix as he's just going off right now on this fair. We're going to switch over to him as he's assisting Volatage. Getting another kill. Make that a total of five. And six... Offending members of Nine and Ninjas are going to be taken out here as the first push gets pretty much, or second push gets pretty much cleaned up. And again, this defense is pretty well set up. Reunited doesn't seem to be missing any steps. They're aggressing when they need to. They're not letting the offense get into a position that they would want to. They're utilizing the turret and Torbjorn well. When the enemy team gets into position to push Nine Ninjas, that is. Reunited is jumping so that the turret gets maximum effect. And actually, we have two easy ripping out a pretty early whole hog here. So he's down to 50 HP. And Morte's on him, keeping him topped off. And he's actually going to get one, not uh, two kills. Specifically, Cruz getting the second one. And now, too easy going to get a second one for himself. Cruz going to be getting a triple. And then, unfixed is going to clean up the fifth kill for that. Mutily, as well as the Lucio are down on the main. And that hook, max range from too easy. Going to be taking out the Lucio. Now, hunting down Mutily on that Zarya. Should be going down. Winghaven is the one to claim that kill in the end. And that is definitely not going the way you want to for Nine, nin nine Ninjas. And we'll get the uh, stopwatch set up for you guys for the rest of the event. I knew there was something I forgot to do this morning, which was uh, set up the stopwatch. So we'll get that for you guys. Winghaven playing incredibly aggressively right now. Actually, he's just in the action. Going to be preventing the offense from getting any position that they want to. This is how you want to do it against a weaker team. Of course, Reunited should be one of the top four teams at the end of today, if not the team winning it per se. They're definitely a team to watch out for. But the question is, how do they do against these slightly weaker teams right now? And they are going to be just crushing Wienhaven, getting another kill too easy as well. And that's what we want to be see seeing from Reunited for the going, uh, bodes well for them for the rest of the day if they continue to dominate. If they were looking uh, sketchy at all or, or uh, um, ste uh, misstepped at all against this team, then it wouldn't bode well for Reunited. But that's not what we expect. We just make sure 
and check these games again guys this is the round of 256 nine ninjas though looking to prove themselves here that's the other part of the story that we should be talking about ravening and team would like to be able to beat reunite or at least show that they have the ability to play against them in a decent capacity voltage is going to be taking him out as we speak at that we're going to switch over to voltage and he's got his sights available as well in fact they have three ultimates available on the defense about to have four with that molten core and there's a pretty good earth shatter coming up from the side of the offense maybe they can capitalize on it but so far it doesn't look like it they don't have the members in the area to do much and it looks like to be a pretty easy cleanup from reunited as voltage unfixed and i believe that was um too easy we're able to get all those kills at the end after the graviton surge good cleanup from them and it looks like with one minute remaining we're gonna have a full hold on the first point not too much of a surprise there we're gonna follow out kinshin as he does have almost has a resurrection available should be able to farm it up from him. healing up these tanks with that justice that barrage coming from uh, sorry, excuse me, Unfix doing a fair bit of damage does end up cleaning up the, uh, actually we do have Cruz chasing out here on the, uh, the no respect play coming out of the hard bar because he's just pushing over to the enemy spot. This is the no respect play coming out from Reunited. They understand that they're going to win this game and they definitely feel confident and they're going to push the offense back into their spawn. Cruz himself going to be assisting with that, getting a fair bit of damage out, doing right click after right click again if you can land those right clicks they can headshot as well left clicks specifically do uh, 70 damage no dro dam damage drop and he's looking like to end, uh, land those predictive shots in the air gonna be dropping a new turret no never mind he changed his mind just giving himself some armor gonna be backing out this whole time we were falling the outer bark there was something more going on of course winghaven back here fighting it out by himself to the death just gonna go ahead and jump off no he fakes it does he actually get to the health pack did he one up them and juke them winghaven you are a monster you are a monster, savage, no respect, no no care given, no empathy from Reunited as they hold full hold on point one, pretty much pushing nine ninjas back to the spawn, and that's pretty much what we expected again, guys, but it's good to see Reunited in good form already today, as they have many more matches ahead of them. We're going to go ahead and boot up Life Split right now while we watch the hard work, or hard work of the uh, poor Reunited. Where can you see the player names? It should be above. Um, on the uh, on the top section of the screen as well as the kill feed is what I'm using for you guys um, Let me make this zero of course. It does not matter as it will be uh, they held on point one apologize for the keyboard noises guys and hopefully that's all set up And that should be good to go guys so again we'll be getting into the offense here for the side of reunited as they are or, yeah, the offense, they just need to cap point one. This should be a pretty quick game, guys, and then we'll be moving into the round of 128. Again, I don't want to take anything away from Nine Ninjas. I don't want to be that guy who seems like they... Do. Oh, it's Reunited. Of course, they're going to crush the wall. You know, that's kind of just the nature of competition, right? Reunited is a top team in the world right now. They haven't shown too much weakness against anyone that isn't in the pecking order of their uh, of their area. Of course, they haven't competed too recently in, in the major tournaments. Most of the major tournaments that have been going on, besides, of course, the EU Weekly, has been the uh, NA Weekly. And the EU Weekly, they have been making it towards the end. Uh, they have uh, lost critically, though, recently. So, um... And they also lost, uh, I believe, in uh, two weeks ago as well to Envious. I want to say Envious, or maybe no, no, they won. To, uh, they, they won against Envious three-two, and then Envious won the NA. Is if I recall correctly, exactly how it went down. But yeah, so Reunited has been playing really well lately. Definitely showing a uh, pretty much not m much weakness at all. And I am not sure why this is not showing up. That is rather annoying. Why are you not showing up, Live Split? There we go. Live Split is now showing up. So again, the defense will be looking to full hold point one. If they don't full hold point one, it will be a GG going for the um, side of Reunited, guys. Again, Reunited is a top eight, well, top four European team, really, I guess. I mean, I guess the pecking order has changed a little bit, but still Reunited has to be put up there. They are terrifying to play against, uh, against for the, even the top uh, three teams in Europe right now. Um, but that being said, really most of the competition that's been going on has been NA lately, so it's a lot clearer for the NA picture. We've seen a jumbling of the NA picture a little bit as, of course, Cloud9 has critically lost uh, a few matches that they really shouldn't have in a lot of people's eyes. Of course, critically losing out to Luminosity this last weekend so far. 
But here we go. We're gonna have Winghaven out on that on the um, on the Balotaja on the McCree as he's pushing forward, getting those left clicks, not missing a single one. If you guys want to get better at McCree and play him right, play him after the nerf. This is how you have to be able to play him. Getting charged by Reinhardt. We're gonna switch over to Too Easy as he's gonna be playing that Genji, doing something else for his team as he didn't get charged by the Reinhardt, looking to do what he can. Of course, that was just a miss flashbang from. Uh, to, uh, Winghaven, as he just needed to land that flashbang, he was, actually they were just Winghaven, why am I even saying that, it's Winghaven playing, I, I'm sorry guys, I didn't even click to me, it's early in the morning, I apologize, that will be GG, as of course they'll, uh, be calling it any second now, but that's Winghaven, the tank player, the Reinhardt player, playing the, uh, McCree there, as... We are going to have Too Easy busting out the sword here, cleaning it out. They'll probably be pushing it back to lobby any second now, guys. And we'll be getting over to other games. But again, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in so far. We have many more rounds of action to come. And that being said, we will figure out exactly where we're going to go next, guys. I'm going to take a quick look at the bracket while we are following out the Genji. Again, this is the ESL Go For Cup number four. This is the round of 128 that we just witnessed. Reunited taking it over over nine inches. We now are going to be moving into the round of 128. Most likely, we'll be following Banana Form. But uh, if this game is over quickly enough, we might just follow uh, Reunited into the next game as well because they need they will be playing Don't Fear of the Reaper, most likely. And we will see that that uh, we'll, we'll see if that's the case. We'll go ahead and show the rest of the brackets and figure that out. It looks like everyone has left the lobby, so I should go ahead and leave this lobby. I will go ahead and do that, guys. But again, thank you so much. It's the ESL Go For Cup number four. We'll be figuring out exactly where we'll be going next, guys. Most likely, again, we'll be going to a uh, round of 128 between Reunited and uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. I appreciate your guys' viewership so much. If you guys enjoyed my casting or enjoy uh, any of that, do follow me at RaptorsOW on Twitter down below or Google search uh, Stratwatch, uh, YouTube search Stratwatch as I do a video series breaking down and analyzing Overwatch. As well as, guys, if you are curious about this tournament, of course, definitely check out ESL... Um, gaming you can type in a, uh, exclamation point standings to get to the bracket information as well as just the standings you can type exclamation point bracket to get the bracket as well as follow uh, esl on twitter at esl overwatch for more information for tournament updates and such but again guys thank you so much i'm going to go ahead and kick it to some music and get you guys another round of action either between banana fly and figured out opponent or we'll be moving on to reunited versus don't fear the reaper again guys thank you so much for your viewership i appreciate it we'll be bringing you guys action as soon as possible